All right. <clears throat> I see Laurie is still hanging. Was she there? She is. I was. I just. And you're still hanging out there. Thanks. Appreciate it. No problem. So, what uh, what do we have for our weekly update? Our numbers of positive cases are trending definitely down. That's an um, excellent thing to hear. It is. The report that came out on Thursday, December 24th from the state showed we had 15 for the previous two weeks. My numbers going forward for the next report that's coming out will show that we have 11. So okay. we're, we're definitely going down. Um, and then for the report after that, we have um, six and that report end date will be January, uh, January 2nd, 2021. Okay. So right. we're definitely going in a great direction. Yeah, good. that's good. And that, that breakout report was interesting too, you know, showing that like the, the big jump in cases in December wasn't really tied to the university. Which it, was, was, it was not, it was. Yeah, just general folks. Just general folks, yep, yep. exactly. Yep. So that was interesting. You know, probably a, a definite Thanksgiving. Yes, a influence. spike from that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we'll see what happens with the Christmas influence yeah. next. I was week. just going to say, keep our fingers yeah. crossed that we don't have another spike there. You know, right, and right. hopefully with the vaccine starting to roll out and everything, things will quiet down. Yep. Um, for the police and first responders here in Sunderland, I'm hearing mid-January is a possibility for vaccines. Yeah. Um, from what I'm hearing, it's going to be FERCOG is going to be involved and the Fire Chiefs Association will be involved. So okay. we'll see how that goes. All right. Well, thanks. It's good well, news okay. this time, you know. Yep. Jeff, um, do, you a, do you have something to add to that? Yeah, just a Two minor things, um, Lori mentioned that we had 15 in the last report. We were one of three communities in Western Massachusetts that were green and not yellow or red. So hey, there we uh, go. just to put it into perspective a little bit. Um, I also wanted to mention that the federal government passed and, and the president did sign another, um, I guess, relief phase bill. four of the federal relief. and potentially included in that uh, is an extension of the ability to use uh, coronavirus relief funds. Um, those had to be spent by Wednesday. Um, had to, and we had to receive it. And so we're still waiting on guidance from the state, but I did want to mention that um, there, there is uh, additional, I think, unemployment uh, benefits. There's also, um, potentially stimulus checks for certain yeah. populations. So uh, full ramifications are, are still being understood, but I, I just wanted to mention those two things. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, looks like there's finally, there was finally some movement at the national level on that. So that's good. All right, great. Well, thanks for the update, Lori. Keep okay. our fingers crossed oh, for the one. next report. Definitely. Yeah. So what Lori had talked about before about vaccines. So right now we're in phase one. Yes. Right. Um, what people should understand is that there's phase, phase one has many sub phases. A, B, C, and yes. There's there just so everybody knows, there's one A, one B, police, fire, EMS. Um, they're, they're one C, they're not A or B, but then you have one D, one E, one F. So it, it, it is a process. It's going to take I, a while. It, it, it is a process. And I, I can tell you that, um, Sunderland, Deerfield, Whiteley, Conway belong to a health organization. We, we are ready for an EDS that would be given over probably in Deerfield. Deerfield's a 
Deerfield because they're the largest, they're the lead um, town. So when they talk about Deerfield being on the thing, that's us. So if you happen to read anything and it says about Deerfield, that is that is us. Deer, Deerfield's the one that's filling out all the paperwork, which doesn't break our heart that that they're filling out all the paperwork and stuff. <laughs> but we we have an EDS an EDS is emergency dispensing site. We have worked it for the last seven or eight years. We understand it. We've modified it over the years. Um, right now, we actually, the last, our last one that we had was a drive-through at the Deerfield Highway Garage. So you don't get out of your car and it's not done outside. So we don't have any tents or anything blown around, but you actually drive through the uh, highway facility and Deerfield. So you're covered. So that has been worked on. Um, we have, we do have some cold storage. They're not the ones that for the Pfizer has to be whatever. Super cold. <laughs> Super cold. But we do have them. The other ones for that Moderna, we do have freezers for that. So we are, we are prepared and, and actually we have been in contact with the state. Actually the state's been in contact with us about setting up our EDS. So that may happen. So um, but as I just read through the list, um, there's five or six subsets of phase one. Right. So it, it may be, it's going to take a little while, but yeah. stand by. Right. We've done that for years with flu shots and things like that. So anybody who's done that, you know, will have some familiarity with it. Right. We're, yeah. we're, and, and we may be asking for volunteers. Um, to help man it, but your duty, the duties uh, are all documented and they just give you a piece of paper and explain what you need to do. But uh, we may, we may need help, but it, it, it'll be a lengthy process. So um, well, stay tuned. It will, it will happen. It, it's going to happen. Yep. It'll be a new year. So there you go. All right. All right. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a, Have a good new year. Have a good night. We'll see you next week. Yep. Sure. Thanks, yep. All right. <clears throat>